is Chris Rogers. I am the hotline coordinator with Arlington County Child Protective Services. I would like to provide a brief overview of Child Protective Services, including how to make a report of abuse or neglect and the various ways that CPS may respond. This is not a mandated reporter training, which is a longer, more in-depth presentation. I would be happy to schedule a mandated reporter training if requested. We recognize that our school partners are one of the largest reporting sources of child abuse and neglect in the county. You work closely with children, so CPS wants to ensure that all Arlington Public School staff understand how and when to make a child abuse and neglect report when necessary. In Virginia, abuse and neglect falls into four different categories, physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, or neglect. State mandates require that any suspicion of abuse or neglect be reported to CPS within 24 hours. Please remember that you do not need to verify abuse or neglect, you only need to report your suspicions. Sometimes people fear that reporting child abuse or neglect will destroy a family. The truth is that getting help can protect children from further harm and assist the family in overcoming problems. It can sometimes be difficult to understand how to respond if a child discloses a situation that sounds like abuse or neglect. First, we suggest that you remain calm and neutral while listening to the child. We ask that you do not attempt to investigate or ask leading questions. However, it is appropriate to listen for important information, such as what happened, when it happened, and who was involved. It's okay to ask open-ended questions to obtain basic information prior to making a report. If the child reports physical abuse, it's also helpful to indicate if you observe a mark or bruise. Observing the child for bruises should only be done if the child is comfortable showing you and only if the mark is on their body in a place that is publicly viewable. We ask that you do not notify parents that you're making a report to CPS. All reporting sources remain anonymous. There are three ways to make a CPS report. We strongly encourage you to call the Arlington hotline at 703-228-1500. That child abuse hotline is answered Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Virginia also has an online reporting portal at the state website address, eacps.dss.virginia.gov. This is a new convenient way to make a report and is often preferable to calling the state hotline after business hours. If you choose to use the online portal, please provide as much information as possible and include your phone number so we can reach you if we have additional questions. If you make a report through the portal or by calling the state hotline, the information is given to an on-call worker immediately after the report is received by the state. And finally, you can also make a report using the state hotline at 1-800-552-7096. Child Protective Services is available 24-7, 365 days a year. I want to take a minute to briefly review what makes a child abuse and neglect report valid in Virginia. First of all, the child must be under 18 years old. Secondly, the alleged abuser must have been a caretaker role or considered to be a caretaker at the time of the event. The third criteria is that the abuse or neglect incident must have occurred in Arlington County or the family must reside in Arlington County. And finally, the allegations must meet the state definitions of abuse or neglect. The Arlington CPS hotline staff will screen for this by using a state decision-making tool. You are not responsible for making the decision about whether or not a report will be validated. You just need to report any suspicions or concerns. Once we have received your report, we have several options of how to respond. If the referral meets criteria for validation, a CPS investigator will be assigned. When an investigator has completed their assessment, some families may be referred for in-home services. This happens when there are risk factors that could contribute to additional incidents of abuse or neglect, and the family could benefit from additional support or services to address their needs. At DHS, we realize that there are families that may be vulnerable and present with life stressors and needs that create a risk for children, even if the current situation does not meet the threshold for abuse and neglect. Referrals that do not meet the criteria for a validated report are reviewed for family support services. 
If there are risk factors that could contribute to future abuse or neglect, the family is contacted and offered support. Family support services is voluntary, and a family can agree to participate for a 45-day assessment to determine their service needs. During this time, referrals are made for community resources and families are linked to services. At the end of the 45 days, families may elect for longer-term case management with up to six months of support. The goal of the service is to prevent abuse and neglect of children. The team at DHS, Child and Family Services, is committed to providing trauma-informed, culturally responsive services to children and families. Our staff recognizes that there is an over-representation of children from Black, Indigenous, and people of color who come to the attention of CPS. We have a skilled, diverse workforce that actively seeks to ensure equitable outcomes for families. Our team places emphasis on understanding the cultural context of families in order to build trusting, supportive relationships that lead to better engagement, safety planning, and family stabilization. We believe that children fare better when they are living with and connected to the parents, relatives, and community when it is safe to do so. I want to thank the Arlington Public Schools team for your dedication to Arlington's children, and we look forward to partnering with you. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a mandated reporter training, please call or email me. My direct phone number is 703-228-1565. Thank you so much.